Okay, so one of the things that's come down from Key Stage 4 to Key Stage 3 with the new programme of study is being able to compare properties of transverse and longitudinal waves and being able to model them and then being able to label waves as well. So students need to be able to label a wave, they need to be able to label the crests and the troughs and also be able to label a wavelength, so going from the centre of one crest to the centre of another or the centre of a trough to the centre of the next one. They also need to be able to label an amplitude, so going from the centre of the wave up to the crest. Additionally, they need to be able to uh, state that frequency is the number of waves per second. So waves is one of the things that has come down from Key Stage 4 to Key Stage 3 in the new programme of study. Um, students need to be able to model waves, they need to be able to uh, discuss properties of transverse and longitudinal waves and compare the two. So we built this model to show how waves travel along a medium, so there'll be a disturbance at one end that will travel along the model, be reflected at the end and then come back. So this next demonstration is going to use a slinky to model transverse and longitudinal waves. It's a good way of showing the differences between the properties. So first we'll show a transverse wave and examples of this would be light and also water waves. <laughs> And then we can also show longitudinal waves, so using sound as an example. So this is a smart way to demonstrate the properties of waves using a metal slinky and jelly babies. <laughs> 